Yo, what's up guys, welcome match tutorial now let me say two things real quick sorry this video is coming out so late i just got done with work um and also let me also say that the reason there was no video yesterday is because i didn't edit it and also i'm probably never gonna edit it for one reason let me tell you so yesterday was the diversity right this is a minecraft thing um those don't get a lot of views so i'm gonna try to find something to do on mondays besides uh minecraft now you might be thinking, oh, wow, you're just doing it for the views, man. Wow, man. I was like, no, no, no. Why would I make a video that people aren't going to watch? That's why I'm saying that. Okay, so. Anyways, here we are in Scratch. Uh, this is a different account. I just made it right now. That's why there's no thing. DK Tutorial. I'll be using this account from now on for making tutorials. Just thought I'd let you know. Then I'm going to show you guys how to make a very basic high score system I'm gonna put tutorials all tutorial all right so let's I'm gonna make this in the most basic basic form so it's the most easy to understand oh there we are we're gonna make this this little circle so if you hear background noise office downstairs you know how it goes you know how it be you know how it be um Let's just get something in here real quick. I'm just designing a little button that you can click. This will be like P. It's the P button. You know how it is. You know how it is, right? The P button. Everyone's got a P button. If you don't got a P button, you need to you need to get yourself one. So there we go. We got the P button. I'm gonna name it. No, we gotta name it the P button all right now we can do you know green flag right pretty nice and we will make two variables we'll make one variable called personal score which will be you know our personal score and i'm going to rename the my variable to high score or you know world record whatever whatever you feel like calling it Let's show it and put it over there. You know, let's spice it up. Let's give it a cool little background. Again, people are watching TV downstairs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Please, please don't stab me. I, I, I like my I like my legs. Don't stab me in the legs, please. All right, so go to the P button. Uh, when this right clicked, set personal score to zero, show high score, and show personal score. Also, with this high score, right? I don't know why I'm hitting rename Java. No, get out of here, Java. I don't care. All right, we're going to actually delete that, and we're going to do another one called high score. All right. Oh, I just realized something. I'm not a scratcher. Let me move over to another account real quick. Uh-huh. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm on the DK Minigame account, so you know I actually have the good stuff. Okay, so I have the better P button now because this one's a lot better. You see it's a little bit bigger. All right, so now make a variable, personal score. There we go, it's beautiful. One more, call it high score, world record, or something like that. And go ahead and tick the little cloud variable box. And then bam, smack it over there, very easy, right? That is a little message that says uh, a cloud variable cannot be a letter symbol, it can only be a number. Okay, so. Go to our beautiful little P button. I know I just showed you how to do this, but just in case you missed it. Uh, not high, my goodness. Show high score, show personal score, set personal score to zero, and you don't want to set the high score to anything. Put a set high score to zero off to the side. Don't connect it to anything, though. So if you ever want to like reset the server's high score, you can just go ahead and click this and be like, boom, I'm amazing. All right, cool, right? Nice, what do we do now? So again, this is a very, very basic system, like in the most basic way I can do it. You can implement implement this into anything you want. I'm just gonna do like a, like a clicker system. Whoever gets the highest amount of clicks is like, whoa. <gasps> okay, so <laughs> when you click this, um, change personal score by one. I just did that, make sure that stays zero before you share it. Um, so you know when you start, yeah, perfect, right? Uh, go ahead, do an if 
Go ahead, grab yourself a grader. If personal score is greater than high score, set high score to personal score. So what it's going to do is every single time you click it, it's going to check if your score is higher than the high score. And if your personal score is higher than your high score, it's going to set the high score to your personal score. Very basic. All right, let's let's see if we can do this, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're getting the highest score. We're getting the highest score, boys, probably because we're the only one who play. And then we do this. And then look, the highest score stays the same, but a personal score doesn't. You can even re refresh the page if you really want to to see that cloud variables save like that. It was like 39, I think. Yeah, it still is. And then we just got to get all the way up to 39 for the thing to change. And then I'll start going up. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I know. I made it. I know it's cool. Trust me. So, um, but again, once you... Why is it doing that? Um, hey, you. What are you doing? Stop that. You're thick. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? Just because I want to... Um, and because I think it is nice aesthetic. Eh. Eh. You know what I'm doing. If you've seen any other tutorial, you probably know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just making it so it gets bigger, you know? Set size 200. Set size to 110. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. Here's our game. It's a very basic high score system. Right? You could set this to, like, a high score of maybe... You know, a survival game where you survive a specific amount of time and the, and the timer goes up. And if at the end your timer is higher than the high score, the high score will change. And then anybody can go on and, you know, beat that high score. All right. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to be sharing this project on DK uh, Minigame. If any of you want to come on and try to just obliterate this score, just someone just come on and just, you know... Just people start fighting over this meaningless score where you just click this button and nothing interesting happens. Um, yeah, go ahead and do that. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Very basic, I'm sorry if you wanted something more amazing. It's not for beginners, it's just a beginner thing. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Oh wait, one more thing I actually have to say. I actually have to say this. Um, if you are a new scratcher, like how, that, how, like how my DK tutorial account is, um, you can check that by, um, by the way, before you share your project, uh, make sure you hit that high score to zero and then it says share. Cool. So if you go to your account and right here, you look at this, um, you see how it's a scratcher under mine. Um, if, it, if yours says that you'll be perfectly fine. If it says a new scratcher, like, you know, if it, if it looks like, you know, if it, um, uh, if it looks like. You know, if it looks if it, if it looks like that, if that's what it looks like for you, um, this won't work for you because you need to just have it, you need to just have it say scratcher, in order for you to use cloud variables. That also means you'll need that to be able to, actually, you know, play this game. And also that is false. I'm gonna just change that to tutorials, nerd. Okay. So, yeah. I love YouTube. All right, so, yeah, just make sure it's that, and then make sure your high score is set to zero when you share your project. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because uh, more Scratch products coming in the future. Um, while you're at it, I want to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. That helped me out a lot. Also, post more Scratch things in the comments that you want me to show you how to create. And also, show me your, some of, uh, send me some of your Scratch projects and I might play them in a Scratch game review video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.